So welcome back to the Anime and Manga News for the week ending November 24th, 2017. Starting with news about the Full Metal Alchemist live action film. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> That's <for> me! Exactly. <laughs> so there was a, um, uh, a video posted this week featuring the, the lead actor and the director talking about the upcoming uh, 4DX screenings. 4DX? That, which is a... Some kind of like IMAX y thing. Wow. Um, uh, which, will think, which will simulate all five of your senses. Oh, I like that. Um, stuff like um, you'll smell burning material when Mustang uses the flame alchemy. Oh, that is cool. Pretty cool. Um, anyway, talking also about the general release, it will release October 25th for the world premiere. Um, I'm sorry, no, the film already opened I missed um, it. October 25th, <laughs> duh, for the world premiere. But it will. Uh, open um, in over 190 countries. Wow. Yeah, That's around the big. world. Um, uh, this should be the widest international opening for any Japanese film ever. That is going to be cool. Yeah. I've got to see that. I've got to find where they're going to yeah, have that. <laughs> absolutely. That's, that's incredible. Um, so that's going to be pretty interesting. Um, um, it was actually screened at Anime uh, NYC. Um, so if you're there, you got a chance to see that, which is pretty cool. There is music playing outside of my, my house right now, but that's fine. Um, a drive-by uh, concert. Hey, can't, yeah, I can't complain there. Uh, not, it should be noted that that'll, that'll include the U.S. and Europe, but the, um, the Japanese film industry uses the term country to refer to things like Hong Kong um, and things that aren't technically the country. Is that a political commitment? Right. So, um, uh, you know, that would be a, a slight over-exaggeration, but it'll still... Almost certainly be the Around largest the world is international. Incredible. Yeah, definitely. And uh, the idea that uh, they come out with stuff, but we don't get a chance to see it around the world until years later. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I want to see it. Yeah. <laughs> um, and it is going to be essentially the the primary from Alakma story in one movie. So it's going to be that that whole thing. Ed is older, by the way. He's like 20 instead of 15. To is he still short? Uh, almost certainly. <laughs> I've got I, I, I gotta, gotta got to imagine. Um, not short. <laughs> Uh, all right, so moving on to a um, slightly less fun uh, news story. Uh, Nobuhiro Watsuki, the author behind Roni Kenshin, was uh, charged with possession of child pornography. Um, hmm? Oh, thank you. Um, uh, this week, which is kind of really sad. Um, Wait, did you just say... How was that again? Yes, so the uh, creator of, of uh, Roni Kenshin, uh, Nobuhiro Watsuki, was charged with possession of child pornography. Uh, um, the uh, police were uh, searching his home in regards to an another case where they, they found records of purchases of this material working their way into his home, and they found, quote, numerous DVDs with uh, nude footage of uh, young teenage girls. So that wasn't just some research. That yeah, uh, yeah. Um, oh, that's sad when that happens. Yeah. Um, in his deposition, he talked about how he he is attracted to girls of that age range, um, and yeah, ick. Um, but that was that was such an up and coming franchise. Yeah, it was it was really starting to to, to re spin up. Um, uh, yeah, more movies were were rumored to be coming. Um, so will, will that yeah. put an end to that? Or Who knows? Or it, it's hard to say. Some artists take the works and run with potentially. Them? Sure. Um, you know the 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 franchise is owned by multiple people. Um, mm -hmm. You know there, there are lots of folks involved. So they could they could move forward. That okay. said, um, there is a, a new arc of the manga publishing right now in um, uh, show in a Jump SQ the magazine, mm -hmm. and uh, Shueisha has announced that's going on hiatus now. They're not going to move forward with that for now. Um, that's just a little um, worrying. Um, to be clear, um, uh, he at least started getting these things in 2015. So he's had them for a couple of years now. So that's another part of it, is that this was clearly a, a long-term thing. Um, but anyway, so yes, the manga is going on hiatus. Not canceled, but they're just like, well, we're not, you know... they got to figure out what they're yeah, going to do. Yeah, this is problematic. So you know, do we bring in another artist, like you say? Who knows? Um, yeah, how would they... Yeah. seamlessly keep going. Yeah, mm -hmm. they need to re figure out how they're going to bring things about. Yeah, and they they don't know what they can do with stuff already in print. You know, that's that's still an open open question. So, um, so the good news is, Shueisha basically said, you know, 
we're not just going to brush this under the rug. You know, this is a serious thing. It, it's creepy, and we want to make we want to make the right decision by at least just pausing and thinking, and 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 yeah. then going on from there. Yeah, it seems like there's been a lot of uh, people getting in trouble for those yeah. kind of behaviors lately. Mm -hmm. Totally. Um, so that is sad, uh, but I will definitely let you know how that progresses. Um, so. Trying not to sound too awkward, moving on to news of the Pokemon movie. Yeah! Uh, Pokemon, the movie I Choose You, which is the recent sort of callback to the original series. Yeah. Uh, it features the um, art stylings of and plot of the, uh, or plot stylings of the original uh, series. Came out this year in the U.S. and earned $2.4 million. $2.4 million. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and that was as of November 16th, so that was about, as of about a week ago. Um, and that is, uh, that aired in the U.S., the U.K., and some other, you know, markets outside of the, um, uh, the U.S. Uh, I believe it was basically just out for, like, a weekend. That's pretty good and news. Still, yeah, uh, very, very good job, a uh, good job for the Pokemon the first movie. Um, especially considering that's one of those franchises that, I think right now that movie has a larger fan base among older fans. Mm. You know, it's a callback to the classic series. And um, with the game being out earlier, uh, more more people are on board and saying, yeah. "Oh yeah, yeah, I'll go see it. I'll, I'll check it out." Totally. So um, there's probably a good number of, um, of adults in there uh, pushing up those numbers, which is uh, always a good thing for anime. Um, also in film news, there's a live action adaptation of School Live, School Live. coming next year. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a pretty uh, notable anime series and manga series, Gakko Gurashi, also known as. Um, for those not familiar, it, it, without getting into spoilers, is a show that appears to be a goofy school life comedy, and then that turns out to not be exactly the case. I want to see this. Yeah, <laughs> uh, definitely a remarkable um, series that caught a lot of people off guard, hmm. and um, so we're getting, definitely getting a live action that um, apparently, and it'll be in Japan, so I'm assuming it's going to be a Japanese live action adaptation, uh, some, coming sometime next year, that'll be interesting to see how they handle that. Uh, it does feel like that kind of a thing was a twist on a um, school life, but it's still your know, Japanese school life will work well as a live action film. You know, I don't think so. That, that, that sounds like something that could be done. Yeah, you, you think of like Full Metal Alchemist. And that sounds a lot it's, trickier. Yeah, right? it's big budget. I'm making the stuff. spell of fire? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. How do you do that? <laughs> so, yeah, uh, we'll, we'll uh, look forward to seeing how that uh, goes. Meanwhile, over in France, we are from France. There is well, a live-action Sailor Moon performance show coming, mm. also next year. Live-action Sailor Moon. This came from the official website uh, for Sailor Moon. Um, it will be a mix of singing, dancing, and video footage. I'm betting it's going to be sort of a musical, and the transformation sequences will be footage. Um, so they'll kind of go behind screens. They, 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 the whole thing. Yeah, that, yeah. That, that, that kind of makes sense. Mm -hmm. Some of that is, it's, it's uh, a little hard transformation. to Transformation, just quick. Change clothes <laughs> and uh, in front of everybody. <laughs> exactly. Um, could be done, but let's yeah, let, let's not. Um, uh, Yet to be seen. And this is going to be part of a um, an event called the Japanese 2018, which is celebrating diplomatic relations between Japan and France going back 160 years. Oh, we no kidding. Um, and uh, uh, this is going to be this, this yeah, uh, très bon. This uh, large scale um, event is going to be taking place uh, between July. 2018 and February 2019, so I bring a lot of these events. Long-time anime fans will have noticed there's been a lot of uh, French anime you know, co-productions. Yeah. Part of them came out of this. There's been a lot of sort of, of, of crosstalk. I wonder if we'll, we'll see more of that, uh, if this will spark some, some more maybe uh, uh, cross-pollination. Yeah, so uh, we'll see. Um, we're getting a lot of interesting um, uh, Fr French projects that get this interesting sort of... Uh, push from the Japanese art, and then uh, back and forth. Yeah, I remember so. some Canal Plus uh, oh. uh, productions that, mm. uh, I think Code Lyoko, oh, yeah. uh, sort of the, they, they were the, but uh, I, 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 I digress. There's yeah, 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 totally. Um, <laughs> and that is actually the news. Uh, so that is it for us for this week. Thank you all very much uh, for joining us <laughs> 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 this week, and I hope to see you next week with more news. <laughs>